Hello friends, it's another beautiful day here in my kitchen garden and uh, this is how my kale is looking after um, two months. We have already harvested once and today is the second time I want to harvest and I will show you how I do harvest and this is how I say you can do it weekly by weekly then you don't get overwhelmed because we are busy here so if you can do every week harvest chop it freeze it then you will have it easy than harvesting once a month it will be a lot a lot and again as you harvest it young it tastes young and fresh and you it will keep on growing so um i'll take you through let's just see the whole garden to the end and i will also show you something so this is a uh, wild amaranth i did not plant it it grows by itself and we call it mchicha back home and this is another vegetable it's um wild also lambs quarters or goose something i forgot that name if you can remind me and this also it's a kind of a bitter almost like kale and it's really good and when they grow i pick them as i pick my vegetables sometimes i had plenty to just pick that alone and let's see my as uh, my celery are growing we can see them here they are growing more amaras and more here and more celery and we have some over at the end of the garden so i will show you how i do harvest my kale i will come here and because i harvest every uh, week or bi-weekly i won't pick much i'll just go and pull it down like that and then i take a second leaf and i look for a third leaf and that's enough for now and leaving these ones to grow for next time and then here i'll come i'll take about three leaves again you pull it down you pull it down and you look for another big leaf if it's not big enough i leave it and then i go here i do that way and again that way and i look for the third big leaf so you will get yourself and decide do you want to cut two leaves or three leaves and over here i will do again just to show you it's very easy harvesting and see when they are young like this i cut even the stems while i'm chopping them and i don't have any waste in my kelp So since uh, see how much we still have plenty here left some leaves I'm just picking two some three and I keep going and at the end it's a lot of kale so if you leave it for a long time you will be very overwhelmed being maybe you are working and then you start you have no time to cut them or package them so it will be a waste of money and time after you have done such a beautiful uh, work of planting and preparing the kitchen garden see how much I have already in my hand and the other basin is kind of full ah. I've gotten from the garden today it's a lot <laughs> yeah and so this I will not be overwhelmed cutting it because it's not much but I guarantee you every week 
I will have more just like this or even more so you can see the space left in the garden because I have picked and next time we will have it full again now see how much I have gotten from that just picking two to three leaves on each plant and I have plenty and to buy this at the store is a lot of money but for me hey I get it from my garden I will pack it and it will serve me until next summer so I will challenge you to go ahead and try make yourself a small garden it's never too late there's some vegetables you might like and you can plant them here uh, this time of the month and you can still have some little harvest and you don't have to have a garden you can also plant in pots and show me how yours turn out I have shown you mine I'll take you through the whole time and you will see I will have so many harvests from the garden and I hope you will be inspired by this and until we see you next time bye